Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the top 5 best travel cameras in the market for this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. To see the price and find out more information about these travel cameras, you can check out the description below. Also make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest technology reviews. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5, it's the Sony Alpha A6000. If we're talking about mirrorless cameras, the Sony Alpha 6000 is one of the most popular and reasonably priced cameras on the market, and due to its versatility, it would be a great addition to your travels. When it comes to design, the Alpha 6000 is available in four colors from which to choose from, as well as three styles. But for your information, the one that we're currently reviewing is the black colored one with the 16 to 50 mm lens. This particular model has a sleek all-black body with intuitive controls that are spread across the top and rear, making it exceptionally easy to use since you can reach them anytime you want. On the top left corner at the back you'll notice its OLED electronic viewfinder with 1.4 million dots that will provide you 100% coverage, while slightly below that there is its 3-inch tiltable LCD screen on which you can always rely while recording videos. Considering connectivities, the Alpha 6000 offers built-in NFC and Wi-Fi connectivity, which is surely a great addition, but I'd also like to advise you to download the free Play Memories mobile app as well, through which you can control the camera remotely from your smartphone. But now, let's talk about performance. This unit uses a Bion's X image processor that'll ensure your photos and videos will be filled with numerous details, rich tonal gradations, and low, nearly unnoticeable noise, so you'll have a feeling of a real professional. In addition, the ISO range stretches from 100 to 25600, making it ideal for shooting in low light conditions, and if we add its continuous shooting rate of 11 frames per second, it means you'll be able to capture fast moving objects without any blur at all. For your information, another thing I'd like to mention is its 24 megapixel APS-C sensor, which has the same gapless on-chip lens structure as the Alpha 7R, so as you can see, this camera can do miracles. Finally, this model will let you make full HD 1920x1080 videos in 24p and 60p frame rates for your ultimate experience. To conclude, if you're looking for a budget option travel camera that can fill your needs and still perform great at an exceptionally reasonable price, the Alpha 6000 is your answer. At number 4, it's the Canon G7X Mark II. The Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II is a stylish looking, well built compact camera that's originally an update to the G7X but with better upgrades and features. So let's get straight into action and reveal what the secret is behind its success. Design-wise, this camera has the look of its predecessor, with its elegant and all-black construction, Canon logo on the left of the front face and the G7X mark on the right corner, which gives a great look to the overall aesthetics. The PowerShot G7X Mark II from Canon is its latest camera to feature a 1-inch sensor, typically about 4 times larger than the sensor in a typical compact camera, which sees much better detail produced while low-light shooting is also improved. In addition, a 20.1 million pixel CMOS sensor is available and a 4x optical zoom lens that offers an equivalent focal length of 24 to 100 mm and covers an aperture range of f1.8 to f2.8. In my opinion, the biggest upgrade of note is the addition of a Digic 7 processor, the newest available in any Canon camera, which brings out the upgrades to shooting performance, including faster burst shooting. So, as you can see, you'll be well equipped with everything you need. Moving on, Full HD video recording is also available, although there's sadly no sign of 4K yet for Canon's compact cameras, so that's probably my only remark regarding this product, but again, I don't think it'll be a problem for your travels because Full HD recording is not bad at all. Furthermore, Wi-Fi and NFC connectivity are present, while the touch-sensitive screen tilts to enable shooting at awkward angles. However, there's no built-in viewfinder, and with no hot shoe or accessory port, no option to add one either. Moreover, as with most of the other current Canon G-Series compacts, you can record images in RAW format and manual exposure control is available, along with semi-automatic exposure modes and a collection of automatic settings. 
Overall, I think that this camera would be a great addition to your travels, especially if you're a vlogger, so we highly recommend you take this camera into consideration since it looks and performs premium. At number 3, it's the Sony DSC RX10 III. The Sony RX10 Mark III is a high end DSLR alike camera which grasps the RX10 II's 1 inch 20 megapixel sensor, 4K video, super slow motion modes, electronic viewfinder, and its flip up 3 inch screen. When it comes to design, the RX10 III is stockier and weightier than its ancestor, and the lens is obviously bigger, but the body has bulked up a bit too. It's taller, wider, and deeper, with a more sturdy top panel and grip. One of the RX10's notable features is a DSLR-style LCD top panel, which provides exposure information, among other things. The extra space on the top panel means there's no room for a second C2 programmable function button, and the panel backlight buttons have been relocated on the front of the panel. Previously, it was on the side of the flash hump and a little inconvenient to get to. In addition, the RX10 III has a separate card compartment as well as connections for headphones and an external microphone. It's powered by the NP FW50 rechargeable lithium ion battery, which is pretty cool in my opinion, since on a full charge, it provides enough power for 420 shots if you're exclusively using the electronic viewfinder, or 370 with the screen, a handful more than its predecessor. The RX10 III can also shoot when connected to an external USB power source, so you can keep shooting when your battery is low, which is rare for extended filming or time-lapse shooting. The RX10 III's hot shoe, or multi interface shoe as Sony calls it, can also accommodate other accessories, including a variety of LED lights, external microphones, and even support Sony's XLR K1M adapter, which not only comprises an external microphone, but XLR jacks for other professional mics as well. Moreover, you'll be able to record 4K videos anytime, anywhere, which is a great extension, since many of us want quality videos and recollections from our trips so later on we'll be able to feel the vibe again. To conclude, if you're looking for a camera that justifies its price tag and offers even greater value than its cost, then the RX10 III would be your choice. At number 2, it's the Sony RX100V. Sony's RX100V CyberShot submits a new level of AF performance and speed to today's compact camera market, and makes it a great choice for a vlogging camera. The RX100V possesses the world's fastest AF speed at 0.05 seconds and the world's fastest continuous shooting speed at 24 fps. It also works with most AF points with 315 for a compact camera. Ok, so now let's talk about its features. The new RX100V maintains the convenient pocket size design of the remainder of the RX100 family and is equipped with a high contrast 2.35 million dot XGA OLED TrueFinder electronic viewfinder, ensuring true to life image preview and playback functionality. In addition, the EVF conveniently retracts in and out of the camera body and features optics with Zeiss T coating that greatly reduce reflections. It also has the ability to deliver continuous live shooting at up to 8 FPS, making it easy to track fast moving subjects. Moving on, this offers vloggers, photographers and video makers a shooting experience with the immediacy of an optical viewfinder, while still offering all of the benefits of an electronic viewfinder, including a live preview of exposure, white balance and several other camera settings. Furthermore, Sony CyberShot RX100V also includes selfie-ready multi-angle 3 extra fine LCD, a great feature that shows that selfies have never been easier, with a beautiful 3 inch of 1.229K dots of extra fine LCD display that rotates in multiple angles. It uses a white magic technology that dramatically increases visibility in bright daylight, which in addition allows the large display to deliver brilliant quality still images and movies while enabling the easy focusing operation. Moreover, the super slow motion video function has never been more original than this. The Sony RX100V CyberShot can catch up movements in certain conditions up to 960 FPS. It also has a 3.6x zoom to get the most out of your compact camera. Overall, this camera is as professional as it gets, and it has all the premium features that'll give you an incredible experience using it. So if you're looking for a compact vlogging camera with almost the best performance on the market, then the Sony CyberShot RX100V is your answer. 
And at number 1, it's the Panasonic Lumix GX9. Panasonic's Lumix DC GX9 is a compact rangefinder-style camera that in many ways is exceptionally well-suited for street and travel photographers. When it comes to design, this model is available in a black color edition and is made of a flat body design with a tilting screen and a corner-mounted viewfinder. It also features an electronic OLED viewfinder with 2.7 million dots that sits on the top rear part of the body, while on the right you can find a 3-inch tilt-angle touchscreen with up to 1.24 million dots that'll let you have a crystal clear sight of everything you wish to record. In addition, this device offers you four-way menu buttons. A bit higher, there's a rear exposure dial. Close to that, on the top, there's an exposure compensation dial and a front exposure dial. While on the front of the camera, there's a pop-up flash and compact lenses, so you can see you'll be well-equipped with everything. When it comes to connectivity, it includes Wi-Fi as well as Bluetooth, which enables a constant connection to your smartphone or another device. Let's talk about performance. This particular model comes with 20.3 megapixels high-resolution MOS sensor with tuned three-dimensional color control to detect hue, saturation, and brightness for optimal results. The Live Finder view comes with 2760K dots high-resolution, 80 degree with nearly 100% color reproduction, and also packs 4K technology, including 4K 30-pixel video, 4K Live Crop, and 4K Photo Burst with a new light composition mode to capture perfect moments. When you combine all these features into one piece, you'll see that this device produces perfect quality images. Moving on, those who've purchased this camera are really satisfied, especially the travelers. They claim that this unit is very practical to use, compact, and that it offers very interesting features, so it's highly recommended. Moreover, I'd like to inform you that this unit is awesome for everyday shooting and video recording, making it a good choice for travelers, and also users can enjoy blur-free photo or video shooting from wide to tall, even in low-light conditions. To conclude, this is a premium camera with premium features that'll satisfy even the most demanding users. So, we highly recommend you consider this product since it packs quality and performance. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.